Hello everybody, today we're going to be updating the Zebo Mod 737-800's navigation. And this will also update a few of the native planes as well. So what you'll need to do is head over to the Navigraph website, and in the toolbar here, the main navigation bar, go over to Products, and click Purchase Subscription. And they have two different subscriptions here, one is Annual and one is Monthly. Uh, even if you don't want to do this for every cycle, I do recommend you do this at least one time, being that the Zebo Mods navigation is cycles out of date. So, you'll pay the uh, 8 euros here, and then you can cancel it if you need to, um, but you'll get the uh, the charts and the FMS data from this at least. So, once you've purchased a subscription, there's two ways to install the data into X-Plane. First is the Data Manager. And this keeps a log of um, all your planes and your different uh, flight sim software and helps you up keep them up to date, lets you know when they're out of date. I like to do the manual install though, and to do that you would scroll all the way down here and click X-Plane 11 and download that. So I'll show you how to do both methods. We'll start with the manual. I like the manual just because I know exactly that the files are going where they need to go. Not that the data manager doesn't, but... So come over to um, the file you downloaded and right click and open with the Windows Explorer. And everything in here you're going to copy. And then you're going to put it in the X-Plane 11 folder. I'm using the Steam version so you see I went Steam to Steam Apps Common X-Plane 11. And you'll see this custom data folder and that is where you're going to paste all those files that you just downloaded. You'll notice there's a README in here, and the README is basically telling you the, that this is where you put any new navigation data that you want to use. Now, that's installing, so the other way to do it is with the Data Manager here, and uh, you'll see X-Plane 11 at the bottom here. It's currently saying it's current because I have updated it, um, but... The one thing you want to make sure is check out the add-on mappings and make sure it's going to this custom data folder. It might be going to the wrong folder. It might be trying to replace the files in the uh, one folder out in the explain folder. But you want it coming out of the custom data. And then make sure you save it. And then that should keep it up to date every time. So that is just the one of two ways that you can keep this all up to date. And then now when you load up the Zebo, you no longer see that the nav data is out of date and you should see the correct cycle here with the correct date and you're ready to fly.